Yoni, you've had this idea or maybe a dream mm. to create this, this notion of a brand new way of, of learning and thinking about perhaps the city of Kotka as, as the curriculum, if you will. Can you talk a little bit more about that idea? Sure. So it actually started about two years ago on a conversation during a walk in a park. Oh. <laughs> And we had some interesting guests here, uh, and we came up with three conclusions during that walk. Mm -hmm. First conclusion was that the city of Kotka does not have a university. Okay. Wow, how can we use that to our advantage? Mm -hmm. The second conclusion was that globally, you look at the higher educational space, there are these disruptors, if you will, emerging, the singularities, the drapers, and very, unconventional model, models that are actually challenging the, the institutions. Right. And I guess the third conclusion was that why couldn't we build or reimagine the way we learn in the 21st century and take learning out of the classrooms into a city lab environment, mixing company problem-solving tasks with, with student groups and world-class facilitators, and you necessarily don't need an institution a university to do that. So it sounds like you're thinking about the idea of bringing together uh, the city, leaders from business, from government, from education, uh, students, all kinds of people, and creating a very unique learning community. How do you go about that? Well, that is, that's the challenge that we have in our hands, and we see this challenge of, of disruption in the higher education space mm -hmm. as a wonderful opportunity right. for our city. And we've really benchmarked the models like the Singularity University where learning is really accelerated through a program, a very intense 10-week program in the case of Singularity, or the Draper University. And basically, really accelerating and focusing on the skills development that you need, uh, like entrepreneurial skills, communication skills, and not focus too much on accreditation. What traditional universities are really focusing on it right. is, is the, the, the outcome will be a diploma, but we want to focus on the skills that companies actually need, and we want to equip the participants with the skills that are required in the complex world of the 21st century. So you've started a pilot program to try to implement some of these ideas, and it's called the Disruption Camp. Um, tell us a little bit about what this Disruption Camp is all about. Sure. So the Disruption Camp is a prototype. Mm -hmm. It's a prototype to really put our vision into reality for the first time. And we've, uh, we've got a two-week program that has about 40 students, mm -hmm. multidisciplinary backgrounds from all over the world, working with 10 local companies on briefs, uh, concrete problems, if you will, that the companies have presented these student groups. Mm -hmm. So each company gets a student team that they work with during the two weeks. There's some front loading of information, some master classes in the beginning, and then you gradually work into concrete company setting mm -hmm. to apply these skills and apply the knowledge that you acquire from uh, master classes from, from MIT, like, like, uh, like yourself, uh, from Cranfield University in the UK. We've got uh, uh, experts from Google who are teaching classes on how Google approaches the entrepreneurial mindset or team building. So a very, very dynamic two-week program and I'm really excited about the results so far. That's great, and it sounds like your master classes do a nice job of integrating um, some, uh, some people and content from education, from business, um, and, and from other sources as well. Exactly, exactly. And really, the, the whole key about the camp is to uh, bring together companies that are looking for talent, mm -hmm. and then talent who are hungry, to, and, and young students who, who are looking for jobs, uh, immediate employment, so, so the, the participants are, are towards the end of the, the graduation. Some are newly graduates. So there's an instant sort of matchmaking opportunities yeah. for companies to then maybe hire these students that are participating. 
So I know the program is just about to come to a, a conclusion. Um, do you have any reactions yet from the companies that have participated? Sure. I think the engagement of the companies has been excellent. Uh, they, they've committed staff to, first of all, to create the briefs. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been very, very helpful in uh, working with the students. So it's not like there's the brief, go, but it's been a co-creative process where the companies have actually worked with the students. And some of the results are very, very promising in a very short period of time. And we're very excited of taking the next steps of the program and the initiative. Wonderful. What about the student reactions to the program? Well, I had a student come talk to me two days into the program and, and she said that this two days has already changed my life. Wow. Uh, there's been some very powerful conversations during evening times. The students reside in a beautiful uh, resort. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they sort of cohort together in these cabins. Right. So that social element of the program is very, very uh, important as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've been working very, very hard. Uh, the facilitators are really pushing the students, pushing the boundaries. And I think the students have responded really well. Uh, there's been a lot of hard work, but also a lot of fun uh, during the program. So imagine a business leader in Kotka is listening to this conversation and starts to think about, hmm, I wonder if my company should participate in a future disruption camp. What would you say to them? Well, I'd say two things. Number one, I think it's a great opportunity for the companies to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, we look at the startup culture and the, the emergence of the sort of startup entrepreneurial culture in Finland. Um, and it's not only the startups themselves, but it's, it's SMEs, it's corporations who can adapt these entrepreneurial skills, the sort of lean methodologies. And I think, I think that's a very, very important takeaway from this, from this camp. The second concrete uh, message I would tell companies considering is that this is a great way of, of um, getting in touch with future employees. So we have 40 very ambitious, energetic young students mm -hmm. who are looking uh, for, for, for a job. Uh, so it's a perfect opportunity to hunt uh, for talent and skilled workforce. Uh, Great. So I know the first disruption camp is coming to a close. What are the next steps? Well, it's, it's, it's really becoming a movement. Mm -hmm. So beyond this disruption camp, we've got what's called the SHIP Startup Festival, and we're really engaging young students in the field of entrepreneurship that are coming to Kotka uh, in these programs. Great. So one of the keys is to keep building momentum mm -hmm. and awareness of, wow, what's going on in that, in that city? Uh, so number one, keep momentum going. Mm -hmm. Number two is we wanna keep building a strong network. It's been fascinating to see that institutions like yourself uh, representing MIT, uh, Cranfield in the UK, but also the local University of Applied Sciences has really committed to these initiatives. So we want to keep building a strong network. And thirdly, uh, adapting the sort of startup thinking, think big, start small, right. scale fast. So we absolutely want to scale uh, the program in the future uh, and have more of these programs evolve here in the city. Okay. So let's look a little further ahead, five years, ten years down the road. What's your vision for where this might go? I, I think the vision for the future, Neil, is to think big. Mm -hmm. I think anything is, is, is possible. I think the experiment has, has shown us that and taking a radical approach to learning, even in a city that does not have a university, we could really create a unique learning environment mm -hmm. through partnerships, uh, getting companies involved. And I think the vision going five years onwards is to have these sort of programs uh, on a annual basis. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, also uh, the, the local University of Applied Sciences is building a new campus building here in the next few years. So we also want to look at the, the built environment. How can we actually have spaces in the city that, that inspire these kind of new learning 
experiments and programs to, to take place. This model of kind of considering the, the, the city as a campus, perhaps, the city as a learning environment, uh, could be something that could work very nicely in many places around the world. Absolutely, and one of the, one of the vi parts of that vision has been to imagine the city as the curriculum. Mm -hmm. You look at a city environment, how many challenges, real world problems you could throw to uh, students. Right. Uh, it's just endless and we're very excited about pushing our thinking in this experiment and where we could take this and what are, who are the partners that we will see in the future join us in this initiative. So Yoni, I'm curious, how did you become interested in kind of being the champion of this idea? Well, um, it, it is a personal mission for me to, to to work on this vision and it's been very encouraging to see that that what started as a conversation has turned into a prototype an experiment and i'm very proud that we've had the courage uh, to actually take a vision and test it out um, and and quite frankly it's been it's been a remarkable network and a lot of partners that that have making this reality together with me. So I'm, I'm very pleased and very humble that all the people have joined uh, in, in making this vision into reality. Terrific. Well, Yoni, it's been a remarkable experience to participate in this first disruption camp, and I look forward to seeing where this vision may, uh, may go in the future. Thank you, Neil. It's great to have you part of our vision as well. Thanks. Mm -hmm.